Hey what's up YouTube this is Shukesh once again and today I will be showing you some awesome tips and tricks on this all new Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus which is a brand new Samsung mid-range and the good thing is you have almost all the premium features of Samsung flagships on this Samsung mid-range so without any further ado let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is always on display. Since this is a super AMOLED screen, always on display is battery efficient and if you double tap on the notification bubbles, the respective applications will open. It works better without any password on your phone or the face unlock feature will really help here. You can either put your own image or download any theme from the Play Store. Always on display brightness can be automatic or you can set this manually and as you can see face unlock is working just fine. There is slight delay which is something you have to live with but still it's cool to have this feature on your A6 plus. Now let me show you how to customize the always on display. Go to your lock screen settings and click on clock style to set the clock as you wish. This is for the lock screen that is when the screen is on and there you have always on display. You have this preloaded and you can also download more from the Samsung theme store. Most of these are free so download and apply. Make your A6 Plus cool. When this device is resting on the table, people will definitely notice this always on display and this can also work as your night clock. Just set this phone on a dock or a stand. Now I don't know whether you noticed or not, on the always on display the home button is also visible and if you double tap, you can turn on the lock screen and if there is no lock screen on your phone then this will take you to the home screen. This will also turn on the face unlock feature so no need to press the power key it's more convenient. Now you can also double click on the clock widget or face widget and swipe to other features like the music player calendar events or your next alarm to set up the face widgets again go to your lock screen settings and there you have the face widgets option just turn on the features as you wish now as the lock screen shortcut i have set this kids mode i have downloaded from the samsung galaxy app store what it does is it locks your phone with a password and even if you don't have any password set in your phone, still it's locked and your kids cannot access your personal files, call anybody or delete anything. It has its own camera dialer and all. Your kid can make a call to the contacts you have set. There are plenty of educational stuffs your kids can download as well. To close kids mode, you need a password of course. So download Samsung Kids Mode from the Play Store or you can find that on the Samsung Galaxy App Store. There you go. Having a Samsung device is a huge boon. You get to apply numerous themes from the Samsung Theme Store and no need to rely on third-party applications or launchers. Most of these are free and you can also download amazing wallpapers and icon packs. So this is something you must check on your A6+. Plus. There I have set up a theme and the whole getup of the phone is now changed including the dial pad and the notification center. Most of the launchers are infected with adware and malware so definitely try these Samsung themes. The Samsung smartphone gives you the option to bring all of your applications and games on the home screen just like iOS or iPhones switch to home screen only for that. Now under the same home screen settings, there is a very interesting feature you might not know about. You can hide your apps and games. No one will know you have these apps on your phone. I have hidden the gallery application and as you can see, it's gone. Of course, the data is safe. So you can hide your games from your gaming freak friends or apps you don't want people to know about. Now with this option, you can swipe down on the home screen to pull down the notification center. This is the easiest way I think. I always set this up and alternatively you can also swipe down on the fingerprint sensor to pull down your notifications and check them quickly without even touching the display. So go to your settings menu and look for the option advanced features. There you can turn on the finger sensor gestures. Now you might already know if you tap and hold on the apps, you get to access to different shortcuts or actions and if you tap and hold on those shortcuts, you can add them or pin them to your home screen. 
So if you want to take a selfie, the front camera can be opened directly and for some applications like YouTube, you have additional option disable that is all of its functions will be disabled including the background processes. So if some application is eating a battery, you can disable and it's like uninstalling without actually removing the application. Now let's talk about a native Android feature which is really cool. You can pin your most recent application. For example, if I pin this YouTube app, I can browse within the application only but cannot close it, cannot access other data on the phone. So if you are lending the phone to your friends for watching a video on YouTube or making a call, you can lock or pin the application. As you can see, the home button, the app switcher are not working, even the power key cannot close the application. So this is how you can restrict the user to stick to the app you have allowed and to unpin the application tap and hold the back and the app switcher at the same time but this will also lock the phone if you have a password so your data is perfectly safe. To enable go to your settings menu and look for biometrics and security then other security settings. At the bottom you will find the pin windows feature. Next, let's talk about Secure Folder which is another great feature of Samsung. It's available under Biometrics and Security. So set the password which can be different from your smartphone unlocking password and what Secure Folder does is it maintains a secret profile on your phone. You have a separate application for that in the apps drawer. So let me show you how does it work. You can add duplicates of your original applications in your phone and whatever you do here won't affect the apps in the apps drawer so you can maintain a secret profile. As you can see here in the gallery, there is no trace of the image I have just captured but it's visible to the secure folder gallery. There you go. So this is how you can maintain two profiles on your A6 Plus and separate your personal life with work life. You can add apps and games you have in your phones and also files you can manually lock or it will lock after a while. In addition to that you can also have two social apps on your phone like two Facebook applications and maintain two Facebook accounts on your A6 Plus at the same time. Since this is a dual sim device having two messaging apps like two WhatsApp, Viber or line is really helpful under advanced features you will get this option dual messenger the compatible messaging apps will show up here so turn on and duplicate the apps now let me share with you a very nice shorthand trick to change the brightness you have to swipe twice for the brightness bar just like that but if you wish you can get this brightness control bar with a single swipe just turn on this option show control at the top there you go now the screen aspect ratio of your A6 Plus is 18.5 is to 9 but some of the applications especially games tends to load in the native aspect ratio which is 16 is to 9 so if you wish you can turn them full screen from this full screen apps list you will also get the option at the bottom of your application tap here to fill the entire screen. This is how you can make the best use of this huge 6 inch display. Now let's talk about the game launcher on your new Samsung device. When this feature is on, if you launch a game at the bottom left corner, you get this game tools which can lock your navigation keys or screen touch and you can take a screenshot and even record your gameplay. You can turn off alerts or notifications during game. Go to your settings menu then advanced features, games and game launcher. Click on the game tool settings and set the shortcuts and also the screen resolution, your video configurations etc. Now this huge 6 inch display of your new Galaxy A6 Plus is almost impossible to reach with your thumb so if you just swipe from the corners at the bottom, you can shrink the whole display to your right or left. Now you can reach every part of the screen with your thumb so using the phone with one hand is now much easier. Now there is another trick you can try, in compatible applications if you swipe from either corners at the top, you can convert those applications into floating windows, move them anywhere on the screen and you can even open multiple app windows like this at the same time. 
So this is how you can multitask on your A6 Plus making the best use of this big display. You can resize this window specially, the YouTube application and keep a floating video player on the screen and chat with your friends or browse the internet at the same time. Now these windows can be further minimized to floating icons just like that and you can get back the windows just by tapping on them and if you click on the home button all of your floating windows will be now floating icons. So suppose you are gaming you can put this YouTube application or your chat window floating like an icon on the screen no need to close the game to watch a video or chat with your friends. Now in addition to all of this you can also split the screen into half, run two compatible apps side by side. Apps having this multi window icons are compatible with this multi window feature. So just click on any of your recent applications having this icon. You now have two almost square apps running at the same time on your A6 Plus. Now if you wish you can convert this app into a floating window as well. To enable go to your settings menu then advanced features there you have one handed mode i have shown you before instead of swiping from the bottom corners you can also triple tap the home key to shrink the display under advanced features you will also get the multi window option these are the two features i have just shown you now the next feature i'm gonna talk about is by far the best samsung feature go to the sound and vibration settings and at the bottom you will find sound quality and effects adapt sound choose the preferred one i am telling you guys this adapt sound feature will change your music experience with your earphones so attach the earphone you are gonna use with your a6 plus then personalize the sound you will hear a series of beeps so you have to answer whether you can hear the beeps or not so once you are done you have to select your preferred ear for calls Different people have different hearing capabilities and with this software or feature you get personalized sound from your earphones and do try this on your new Samsung device. There is another option called separate app sound. Suppose you have a Bluetooth speaker and you want only the YouTube application to play sound on the speaker for other sound like for calls you want to use the phone speaker. So with this feature you can do that. Now this A6 Plus is a dual SIM device and under the connection settings sim card manager you will find an option called smart dual sim that is you can even get calls when you are busy on another sim the call will be basically forwarded you can also flip the phone or just put your hand on the screen to mute the incoming call ringtone for that go to the advanced features there you have easy mute so enable this option there is also direct call that is when you open a contact and put the phone to your ear, the phone will make a call to that contact automatically. Also there is a new feature called chat over video that is when you are chatting, you can watch videos at the same time by using the Samsung keyboard shown over video. Now when you are in danger and need to call the police, just triple tap the power key, the phone will call 112. You can also send SOS messages to your friends or family with your GPS location, a small message and also your photos from the rear as well as the front camera of the phone. Now this Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus comes with some power saving modes. Under device maintenance, you have these battery options. If some applications are running in the background and eating up battery, you can click on save power and put those apps to sleep. A6 Plus comes with built-in device security features that is no need to download any third party antivirus this is good enough for your phone. There is also ultra data saving mode which compresses images and also downloads to save mobile data and this is accessible from the notification toggles. There is also smart view for mirroring your screen to your TV or any smart appliances like smart refrigerator or music system. Now let me show you a nice trick. If you tap the volume up key and the power key simultaneously, the screen can go negative color which is quite cool and sometimes very handy like when you are reading an ebook. So go to accessibility and direct access, enable this feature and select any of these options you want to access directly by pressing the power and the volume up keys. Now under hearing accessibility option, you have flash notifications that is you can use the camera flash for notifications when your phone is flipped. This is extremely useful for people with hearing issues. 
there is also notification reminder which I find very very useful. You can repeat notifications from specified applications at an interval as you wish. Now when you are using gloves or if your hand is wet, you can use the volume up key to answer calls and power key to end calls. Guys, we are at the end of the tips and tricks video on the all new Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus. If you think this video was helpful, please hit the like button and also do remember to share this video with your friends. The full review of S6 Plus is on the way, so subscribe and keep in touch as well. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day guys.